25 people have been rescued alive from the collapsed uh, seven-story building in Banana Island in uh, Ikoyi area of Lagos. Uh, speaking at the sides of the collapsed uh, building, the uh, uh, Permanent Secretary Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, La Sema, Oluafemi Okeoso, it's only one person injured who couldn't get a first aid treatment has been transferred to the hospital. Uh, Plus TV News correspondent Love Ikuku Yudoku was at the site and reports. A mild drama ensued as the security men at the gate of the estate housing the collapsed building denied journalists entry. Excuse me, excuse me. This is a gated estate. Okay. You can't force yourself in. And I've told you, the PRO will attend to you at where the PRO will attend to you when they do not sleep. However, the arrival of a team of La Sema doused every tension and finally paved the way for us to move in. This rubble was seven-story building which caved in on Wednesday evening while the concreting was ongoing on one of the floors, according to results. It was a site of four units, four complexes, all interlinked, with one said to have been affected. Cranes, diggers, and excavators were put to work through the rubble in search of possible survivors still trapped. According to the CSO, is that they have done an accounting for all the people they expected to be on site, according to them, right? And according to them, uh, all the people have been accounted for, according to them. And uh, the only report they gave us was that one person uh, has not been accounted for. Professionally, we divided the area into like four quadrants. We moved in with our Delsa equipment. The purpose of using Delsa equipment to check whether anybody is under the robust. And when we used that Delsa, we could not ascertain that anybody is under the uh, debris. What happens, we need to be conscious of uh, the integrity of the surrounding buildings and the high possibility of uh, uh, further uh, events happening. So the safest thing to do is to allow, to stay off and allow the experts, in this case the emergency response teams, to do their job as professionally and as freely as they ought to. Developers were again cautioned against going against the state's building codes. Nobody, I say loud and clear, is above the law. We are talking about the safety of life and properties in here. And there's a rules and regulation put in place in terms of building code. We appeal to good people of Lagos State. We appeal to the developers. We appeal to everyone to abide with the rules and regulations. A King Behin Samuel has the environmental services in Ikoyi and Obalindi. He told residents around Banana Island, Parkview, and Ikoyi not to panic over the impact of the collapse building to their health. Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Uh, well, now we are now being joined uh, live by Kenneth Oduka, the president of Nigerian Institute of uh, Builders. Thank you so much for joining us on the news tonight. Thank you, but I'm um, a past president of Nigerian Institute of Building. Oh, all right, uh, noted. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, uh, uh, looking at uh, the current situation in uh, Banana Island currently, uh, in 2021, I was uh, present at uh, the Koyi building collapse, and uh, we had government officials coming around to, you know, promise the people that uh, such thing will not happen again. And uh, they were promising that they were on top of the situation, and uh, they were actually going to hold many people accountable for what happened. That was in uh, 2021. What was your first reaction to uh, the recent incident? Uh, my first reaction is the human reaction that I should have. Okay. Human reaction in the sense that uh, um, whenever such things happen, there's risk of life being lost. 
there is risk, there are risks of uh, investments being wasted and there are risks of the environment being disturbed. In fact, the additional risk, uh, human risk too, is the risk of the psyche of the average human, human being being skeptical about living in high-rise buildings. So it, it, it's a, a bundle of risks that negatively impacts uh, the scenario that we live in the environment. All right. Uh, uh, what exactly do you think uh, 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 could be the uh, uh, the cause of uh, the incessant um, collapse of uh, major buildings on the island? Uh, do you think it's uh, the use of poor building materials, or, or, or it's uh, on the part of the government, basically? Well, uh, building development, uh, building construction, is a scientific process, and every scientific process passes through the, uh, the empirical, empirical tests. Well, um, in terms of construction, you cannot, one cannot just wake up and say, this is the cause of the, of, of, of the collapse. It can be natural, it can be met, met, uh, deviation from method, it can be poor materi uh, uh, material quality. It can also be as a result of uh, environmental scenarios that are not properly accounted for. In all these cases, in all these uh, situations, the, the importance of professional management of situations becomes very key. In all these situations, the, the importance of regulations, approval systems, becomes very key. In all these situations, the issue of what method is adopted for doing for for handling that project, and what and what uh, 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 monitoring perspectives that have been lived out in, in, in all these things, uh, you see there are gaps, gaps and gaps that has to be addressed. Uh, who do you think should be held accountable for uh, this situation? Because you know we've had this uh, 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 this kind of collapse happened. Uh, we had one in 2021 and also we have some other buildings uh, on the mainland. But it seems uh, we are recording occurrences like that uh, every year. Who should be held accountable? Uh, is it the government, uh, the building owners, the building supervisors? Who exactly should be held accountable for uh, incidences like this? The default... The default error of any of the stakeholders in the, build, uh, in the building construction process could yield to such a development. If, for example, this we're talking about a seven-floor building now, seven-story building. If, for example, the soil test were, was not done before work was commenced to identify the type of foundation that should be used, it's an error. If the production documents, the drawings, and the uh, building management production uh, documents are not prepared by uh, uh, registered professionals that should indemnify the public of the risks. If it is not prepared by them, it could cost that. If in the approval system, those in government sectors who are supposed to undertake the approval of this uh, document overlook scenarios that could be very, very fundamental, it could be a problem. If those who are supposed to monitor state-by-state uh, -state development of the building pro project and signing off every aspect of it, if they, they, they didn't do their work, it could create the problem. If the, the, the materials being used are fake materials, either procured by the, 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 uh, the developer to cut corners or by the contractor to cut corners, or by our national system, the standard organization of Nigeria that are, if a chance, they allow fake materials to come into the country and they are applied. This could also be a problem. Above all, if all the stakeholders in the industry did not take time to ensure that quacks are eliminated in the building delivery process, this could also lead to, um, to collapse. Now, the location of Banana Island is uh, within the wetland area of, uh, of uh, Lagos. 
if uh, certain scenarios that has to do with conditioning the soil or the type of foundation are not used because a technically competent person is not involved in the delivery of the project, then this cross will be the, the challenge. Oh, well, it, it, it seems you've answered my, uh, my next question. What exactly should uh, be done to uh, prevent such occurrences in the future? Well, um, in building construction, there is one, one, one document that is called the National Building Code. The National Building Code is a properly thought out document that assigns roles and responsibilities for all the seven professionals in the built environment industry. And at each stage, every professional group in the built environment industry is supposed to indemnify the general public of risks that are traceable to the activities in their own area. I, I am a builder by profession. And uh, for me as a builder, there are challenges that I'm supposed to address on behalf of the general public. There should be a proper health and safety manual prepared to uh, uh, advise and address the work process. There should be a, a proper uh, uh, project quality management manual that should be used to checkmate and apply the desired quality uh, expectations on the projects. And there is uh, the other order, the, 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 the contract uh, program, uh, plan, uh, contract management planning and program that should be prepared. These three documents, they show what should be done, how it should be done, where it should be done, and who should do them, and at what stage. This, if in any building production, there is not involvement of the person who should manage the building production process. Structural design should be done by the structural engineer. Soil test should be done by the geotechnical engineer. Architectural design should be done by the architectural engineer. All the engineering drawings, services, uh, mechanical, electrical should be done appropriately. And at each stage of that work, these respective professionals should sign off that stage on, on behalf of the general public, indemnifying them of all the risks, using their professional knowledge and competence to do that. If that is not done, it's, it's a no-brainer in, in terms of how the, the, the building failure or oh. building collapse should be avoided. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Kenneth Unduka is uh, the past president Nigerian Institute of uh, Builders. Thank you so much for joining us on the news tonight. Thank you so much. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.